So the final race on day two then is the Albert Bartlett Novices Hurdle. It's a grade one Novices Hurdle with three miles. It's probably known better than most of you as the Spa Hurdle. And the top one is Ghost Rider. Leon van Rensburg, little Rockefeller ghost zapper, the aristocrat Kevin Meenham, Villa de la Plata, Paul Rhodes, the cone, David Robertson, eight to the conclusion, Joshua Sutherland, and Hart has a wish, Molliette Surfer. So seven of them then. Seems to be the norm this season for small fields in these long distance novice races. They're racing towards the first flood of hurdles that they're going to negotiate, and looks like eight to the conclusion, and Lil Rockefeller are going to dispute it over the first of 12 their way down towards the second already you can see the first few caught pretty quick and a little Rockefeller is the early leader the rest of them are virtually in the line with the exception of Ghost Rider who's just at the back as they take the second and it looks like they're all going to be happy for little Rockefeller to take them along leads by about three or four lengths to eight to the conclusion second and the aristocrat is after that one safely over the third as well Way uphill now, then. Little Rockefeller takes the conclusions in second. The aristocrat on the outside is third. I mean, Hart has a wish on the inside, fourth. The two together, then, are Villanella Plata and the Cone. And the grey at the back is Ghost Rider. They're two and a half miles still to race as they come to the fourth. With that one, they all go all hurdling well. And little Rockefeller's lead is up to six lengths now. Who takes the conclusion second? Aristocrat in the green jacket with the orange hoop third. And on the outside of that one is the cone in the turquoise and purple with a yellow cap. Inside Hart has a wish in the black, red and yellow. The little platter in the black and grey colours and the grey at the back is Ghost Rider in that blue Leon van Rensburg jacket. So little Rockefeller then continues to show the way. All the John Morgan Ghost Zapper set up in the pale blue jacket Joshua Sutherland's eighth the conclusion in those black and red hoops in second as they skip over number five and the order's pretty much as you were uh, still two miles to race a little Rockefeller going to try and do it from the front eighth the conclusion second still appear to be going well within themselves the weather's a little bit more palatable now than it has been for most of the day one or two people ventured out onto the stands as we watch them race away up the straight Taking the inside course for this race and a bit of jockey cam action on the back of heart has a wish you can see most of the field from the vantage point of the jockey on Hart as a wish. The only horse we can't see is Ghost Rider. You can see how that turn is a little bit tight. Little Rockefeller's the leader still. By about five. It's the conclusion still second. And it looks like we're losing one. The cone's being pulled up, so a bit of a surprise there. It didn't appear to be travelling poorly. So we're down to just six then now. Oh, little Rockefeller jumps the seventh with a clear lead. But not such a big lead as it was earlier on. Eight's the conclusion. It's much closer now in second. The aristocrat is still going well in third. Then the other three are all in a line. And we're losing another one now. Villa de la Plata is being pulled up as well. Coming into the eighth. So some strange pull-ups still, aren't there? I mean, those big field races we've seen earlier today and there's not been many pull-ups at all in there and the fields have been 50 lengths between first and last at the end as they take their ninth and then you get a seven run of three mile race and two of them pull up while they're right in the leading group it's a baffling situation which nobody seems to be able to get to the bottom of but little Rockefeller's the leader takes the conclusion second all of these trainers will pick up some decent Cheltenham prize money if they can finish the course there's still a little under a mile to go and this is the third from home and a little Rockefeller only two lengths clear now of eight's the conclusion who looks to be going really well in second then comes Hart as a wish Ghost Rider and the Aristocrat all virtually together they race downhill then towards the second last on the home straight a 
little rocker fella. There's a clear lady, you can see there's an awful long way to the second last yet. And Ape's the conclusion is getting a little bit closer with every stride, looks like that one could make up that ground any time it wants to. It's just easing it in to a better position on the outside. Rockefeller's going again at the front. And now Hart, as I wish, is trying to run on from the back. So too is the aristocrat as they finally get to the second last. Over it they go. And little Rockefeller's in the lead from eight to the conclusion. Hart, as I wish, now goes on into third. Then comes the aristocrat and Ghost Rider. Those two look to be struggling a little bit. But now little Rockefeller's being challenged on his outside by eight to the conclusion. And stalking them is Hart, as I wish. They're clear of the other two. Look beaten. And now eight to the conclusion hits the front. Eight to the conclusion is in the lead then. Quickly goes a length clear. Racing down towards the final flight with two and a half furlongs to race. And it's it's Ace the Conclusion who's quickly put two lengths between himself and the remainder of the field. It's Ace the Conclusion in the lead. Hearts as I wish moved into second. Little Rockefeller now looks beaten back in third. It's Ace the Conclusion then. Racing to the final flight. Comes to it. Skips over it nicely. Gets a motion it well. Then comes Hart as I wish. Little Rockefeller trying to run on. But it's Ace the Conclusion. Racing into the final field. And Ace the Conclusion is clear by three, four lengths. And Ace the Conclusion. Jockey has a little look over his shoulder. And Ace the Conclusion looks like he's going to take this one. And finish day two with another win for Joshua Sutherland. So up towards the and eight to the conclusion takes it from Hart as I wish second Little Rockefeller third then the Aristocrat and finally Ghost Rider so eight to the conclusion you could probably call that one as the winner from some way out eight to the conclusion takes it for Joshua Sutherland Hart as I wish for Molly at Surfer was second Little Rockefeller for Ghost Zapper was fourth the Aristocrat for Kevin Meenahan fourth and Ghost Rider for Leon van Rensburg was fifth